Hello guys and welcome to Mark Shrimp Tanks. Today we have a little bit of bad news because this uh, shrimp I found today has died. And uh, it's even more bad news because it is buried. Okay, so that is today's mission. We are going to save these eggs. And I am pretty sure I saw this, this shrimp twitch a little bit as well before I took it out of the tank to put it here. Um, so I'm not 100% sure it's dead, but we must save the babies because I, I do recognize this shrimp. Um, and these eggs were probably about two weeks old, so they're not that far off from hatching, so we must save them, I think. I'm going to be using this device here. A lot of you cichlid people will recognize this. This is an egg tumbler used for cichlids. All I've done here is um, added a piece of fine foam underneath here to stop the eggs from the uh, shrimp going through the holes because the holes are small but they're not really designed for a uh, shrimp so that's how I've fixed it. If the eggs go in the hole they can't fall all the way through they will still tumble properly. I've also cut the length of this um, uplift pipe here quite a bit because we don't need it to be that long and um, I'll probably take this out and explain to you more in detail what it actually does in a minute. But first we're going to take this girl out and we're going to uh, take the eggs from her. And I hope to God she's not alive because I would hate to like, do this and then catch her on camera like I'm killing her or something because we're going to have to remove the eggs from her body and uh, I am sure she would want us to save them. And as I think all you guys know as well uh, with this kind of stuff, the longer you wait the less chance there is of the babies surviving so I think it's quite important that we do this. We're going to take you over to here and this is the stuff you will need to do this if you haven't seen my videos on me rescuing baby shrimp before um, and hopefully this time uh, we get some good results because I've did it twice before the first time they all lived the second time none of them lived and then um, I never recorded it on on film uh, the the live ones so you guys really don't know if this works or not so what I plan to do with this, because I know this female uh, shrimp, uh, the gestation time was roughly about two weeks, I know these eggs are close to hatching. I won't release this video on me saving these shrimp unless I actually save them, okay? Because I want you to see them alive, swing around, and then being released back into the tank. So this is what you're going to need. I like some kind of white uh, tray to put the shrimp in because it reflects everything much easier. I also like to use um, toothpicks to hold the shrimp and pull out the eggs. You can see why these look like something from uh, Star Wars, Star Trek, sorry, that Klingon would use, some kind of cutting knife. <laughs> I also need a little bit of a syringe. We need a little bit of a syringe. We need a syringe because this will help us put water into here. It will also help us take the eggs out. I'll be able to take the eggs out individually and put them into the tumbler with the syringe, okay? So we're going to put you on the tripod and then we're going to bring the female over here. I'm just going to try and level this up a little bit. Welcome back guys. I have placed you on top of one of my tanks and I have the camera at an angle. Uh, this is a little bit difficult for me to do just because basically because I can't see what I'm doing because the camera is right in my vision so I have to look underneath the camera so it will look like sometimes I'm being a little bit clumsy but you will know why okay so this shrimp has still some nerves I can see its legs still moving a little bit so I'm going to remove the head as quickly as I can like so and put it to one side Okay, what's very interesting is the shrimp's body is curling up. Okay, so I went away and got myself a pair of tweezers just to make it much, much easier. I need to grab somewhere on the shrimp and it's uh, kind of impossible with these toothpicks. So I'm going to grab the tail like so. And then I want to try and scoop the eggs out. Without really breaking them or anything. Okay, I hope that's in focus for you guys. We're going to take the eggs out. See some of them coming out. You just have to be careful to not burst them. Let's see, can I scoop this from like so? 
and it is a little bit tedious but if you want to save these guys it is worth doing so we can get a better grip still in focus and I'm trying to be as gentle as I can here because I am aware that if I hit these eggs too hard they will break still a few in here so let me move these ones out of the way I'm going to have a look at these ones as well by the way and, uh, um, with this camera because it has a micro uh, photography uh, mode we're going to use that in a second. There's like five or six of them in here that are just really, really hard to come out. Now I've done this before where the eggs have come out almost instantly. Let's see how many is in there still. There's two or three maybe. And each one of these is a baby shrimp. I just need to turn this over a bit. I think I've got most of them out actually. If not all of them. Is that one? One left? Come on. I think it's one. Now with a little bit of luck, I haven't damaged these too much. I'm just going to try and clear off them all the debris bits of uh, bits of shrimp so we're going to have a little look at these guys hopefully they're all alive we have blood there because I don't want all of this uh, extra stuff going into the tumbler because um, Stuff that you don't remove will go off, it will go moldy basically. And you don't want to do that. Right, so let's see. There's a fair few there. There's two here that stuck together. I'm just going to try and remove them from this little bit. There you go. Not so hard. Because the more stuff you do now, the more chance the shrimp will survive. I think, anyway. Alright, so... One, two, three... Sorry guys, I didn't notice the camera. It went out of focus. Come on, camera. Can it, can it really not see? Sorry about that, guys. There we go. I don't know if that was my hand that put it out of focus or what. And this camera is meant for this kind of thing, so I can actually say better, better with the camera. The camera with my own eyes. So let's see, is that all of them in this picture? No, oh, couple there. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. So there's twenty-one possible babies that we've uh, helped. Uh, Hopefully survive because if because the female was still moving, I'm, I'm suspecting that these shrimp will have had enough oxygen to survive until we put them in the little egg tumbler. I'm uh, I'm going to turn the camera off now, and if uh, if I manage to get some up very close macro shots, you will see them next.
Okay, so I have sucked up all the little shrimpy eggs into this syringe. You can see them here. There's roughly 20 something in there. And what we're going to do now is we're going to take out this egg tumbler. This one here, and I'm going to put it over on this little bench. And uh, we're going to put the eggs into it. Okay, so because these little buggers are in their own little water supply, I'm just going to show you this egg tumbler. Make sure you're kind of zoomed it a little bit. Zoomed it, not in, dumbass. Alright, so this is an egg tumbler. You get these for uh, cichlids primarily. To make this shrimp safe, all I've done is add some fine sponge in the bottom, and make sure it's tight all the way around replace this and that is it basically shrimp safe. Um, I've cut down the length of the um, uptake pipe here, the, 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 the oxygen, not the oxygen, the bubbles go up because it was just a little bit too long for me. Okay and then you have your little chamber like this and I'm going to put the eggs, shrimp eggs, into here. Now they will be in the air for a little while until I put them back in the tank, but that's to be expected. I mean, there's no easy transition for me to do this unless I did it in the war, of course. But I need to show you guys how to do it. So, okay, I'm gonna put the eggs in. But I'm not going to squeeze this thing because um. um I think I might squash the eggs if I squeeze it, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some water from the tank, fill the syringe right up, and then we're going to squirt it in here again. Like so, and I'm going to rinse and repeat until all the eggs are out. Not all the way to the bottom. You can also do this with a piece of tubing as well if, if uh, you don't want to risk squashing the eggs. Let's see, is there any left in here? I don't think so, I'm just going to squish it out once more. Right, so there's no eggs left in there. They're all inside this little tumbler, they're all sitting on top of this little acrylic tray. And uh, we're going to put the lid back on this, like so. By the way guy, I will leave a link in the description as well where you can buy this from. Um, I got mine from eBay for, I think it was like $4 or something. And it saves you having a mess around with nets and things all the time. So I think it's better to have something that's dedicated for the purpose. So we're going to put this in the tank. Like so, there's a little clip for it. And I'm not too worried about the shrimp uh, going in this because... Um, there's, there's an acrylic part on the, on the inside which means they can't go up the way anyway, so... Okay, so that is in the water, like so, eggs are there, I'm just gently going to put on some air into this, because I don't want it to be like super fast, I basically want the eggs to move a little bit and that is it. And that is the name of the device. An egg tumbler. You don't want them being sucked and splashed all over the place. It's basically more or less to to um, keep the eggs moving as well. Now I can see my eggs starting to move. I don't want it to go any faster than this because shrimp eggs are very very light. I don't want them to be sucked out of the this uh, thing because as I said there's an acrylic part in here that has holes in it. So basically what I'm looking for is this, you might be able to see it. 
see the eggs going up and down? That is what I'm looking for. Doesn't matter if they're all doing it, but I don't want them all to be going miles up here and then out of the container. So that, that defeats the purpose of having this. Yeah, cool. And I would suspect within um, a week these guys will have hatched out here and then I'll just open the container and let them out. But I plan to show you that as well because I didn't before. Okay? Stay tuned. Okay, so we have some very, very, very good news. Um, as far as I can see, 99.9% .9 of the babies have hatched out. I'm trying to get as good a picture as I can for you guys, but it's really hard because I'm holding this with one hand. You can see them all, aren't they gorgeous? So there you go, doing this method does work. You can save the eggs from a dead female shrimp. You just have to take them um, out of her belly like this. I hope you enjoyed this and you learned something. I'll catch you all in the next one. Love you all. Happy shrimp keeping, okay? Bye.